Hello, my name is Justin Kramer, and this is another video in a series that's part of a tutorial on how to create a skull model from a head CT using the free software Slicer and Mesh Mixer. In the previous video, we segmented a head CT using Slicer, and in this video, we're going to learn how to export that segmentation as an STL file. So we're going to pick up where we left off. Now, if you're catching up and downloading the files, you should have a set of files in a folder that looks something like this, and you're going to see an MRML file, and that is a slicer file. If you're in Windows, you can just double click and that will open up in Slicer. If you're in Mac, you're going to need to open it up once you're in Slicer. I'll go ahead and do that just so you can see how it's done. So we open up Slicer, click Load Data, choose Files to Add, navigate to the directory containing the Slicer MRML file, and click Open and OK. And it will automatically load up all of the other files. So here we are with our finished segmentation of the skull. You can see that just the skull is selected, and we've excluded the mandible, the styloid processes, and C1 and C2. Okay, so once your segmentation is complete, you're ready to make a model. If you go into all modules and select the model maker module, this is the interface. So the input volume is going to be the head CT skull label. For the models, Skull already shows up in mine. If you're not seeing that, you'll want to create a new model hierarchy as and type in Skull. But I'll select Skull for now. Under Create Multiple Model Name, you'll want to enter Skull. And then in the Model Maker parameters, so I've unchecked Generate All Models, and this is where the labels come into play when you're making the model. So again, if you hover over your segmentation and you look at the data probe, you're going to see that the label is skull 140. So we're not going to generate all models. We're going to type in 140 as the start label and 140 as the end label. So we're just making one model. Now in reality we only have one segmentation so you could click generate all models and that would probably work. I like having control over exactly which models I'm making. So you can see there's some options that you can adjust here. There is a smoothing algorithm that will kind of smooth things out. As you can see, it's kind of a rough segmentation. Uh, these are one millimeter slices, and you can see a step off at every one millimeter. So you can adjust this, play with it. Let's say smoothing at 35. Now decimation is the process of reducing the number of triangles that make up your model. And it's a good idea to do some decimation. If you don't decimate at all, you're going to have a huge model, um, and it can actually take a long time to load, up, load into your CAD program. So I, you, you can safely get away with 70% decimation. These are some other options that I'm not going to go into right now, but uh, those are all the important parameters. And you just click Apply, and it takes just a little bit. Once it finishes running, it's going to seem like nothing happened. And I'll show you where you can access your models. Okay, so it finished. You can actually see your model up in this window now. And view it from there. Now we want to save it, so if you click in the Save window, you're going to see here that you have a skull.vtk. Okay, so you can go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and change the directory. And we'll just work in Downloads. You can save it wherever you like. So if you save the skull.vtk, still not an STL file, so you'll notice we have skull.vtk. I've saved it before here, that's why you're seeing the skull and model vtk files. You won't see that in yours. 
but I want to save an STL file. So you click and you see you have several different options here. You can save it as, o as an OBJ file as well. You just change it to STL and click Save. So not completely obvious, but not that hard as well. So now if you look, go to your downloads file, you can see you have a skull.stl file. And that's where we're going to pick up in our next video.